Hi, so I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard of the term fugitive color? Well, today on Color Quest, I'm going to look at one of the most popular fugitive colors out there, and that is turmeric. Now, turmeric is wonderful because it's easy to access. You probably have the spice in your kitchen or you can go to your grocery store and find the root. The color, although absolutely gorgeous in its vivid yellow, does not stay. And fugitive colors are notorious in the world of natural color. I personally celebrate fugitive colors. Some are not as happy with that and may even dissuade you from using fugitive colors for fear that you will be disappointed when the color in fact fades more rapidly than perhaps expected. However, I'd like to challenge you to think about color and fugitive color perhaps in a different light and enjoy the color that a fugitive color like turmeric will bring you for the time that it shares it with you. So don't be afraid of fugitive colors. Know that they exist. Some very popular dyes out there that are super easy to grab are things like red cabbage and black beans, and those are notoriously fugitive as well. So if you can reframe how you think about fugitive color, I think you may in fact enjoy the special but perhaps brief time that turmeric will bless you with its gorgeous yellow. So today, let's jump into the kitchen, let's grab that spice and make some amazing yellow and enjoy its fleeting moment.
I had never tried turmeric root before. And I have to say, it was a heck of a lot easier than the spice option. So if you see turmeric root out there, I would suggest trying that one out. The colors were not very different, but because turmeric is pH sensitive, it was fun to be able to add some vinegar to make it more acidic and a little bit brighter yellow, as well as going the opposite direction and adding some baking soda to test out the alkaline color, which moved into more of the orange family. If you understand that a color is fugitive and you go into it with an open mind, I think you can enjoy every phase that a fugitive color is going to give you as it slowly fades away. Although turmeric is so easy to make as a dye, it is one of the stars in my brew booklet, which is a free downloadable recipe of a couple of very easy dyes to make in your kitchen. Many of those dyes are fugitive, but when you have easy access to natural color, it's a great way to start and dive in. The link to the brew book is below, and next to that is also my Natural Dyers Quick Start Guide. So both of those are free content that is available to you. So go ahead and hit that link and sign up to receive those if you want to have a little bit of guidance in your natural dye practice. Next time on Color Quest, we are going to move from the spice aisle over to the herbs. I'm going to be showing you what various herbs can bring to your dye pot. And we're gonna play around with some different mordants and some color shifts. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you in the herb garden next time on Color Quest.